so I'm here at the uh, People's Park Inn and uh, it's one of our favorite places always to come and sketch. This is the exit B uh, or exit C actually, I see Patrick. It's a uh, nice day out on a Saturday morning. A good place to come sketch. Fantastic place to meet as well. Talk to you in a while. So I'm here with Patrick Ng and he's going to tell a bit of story about his uh, childhood growing up in this uh, People's yeah. Parks area. Uh, yeah, so Pat, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about this place? Oh, I mean this place has been around for a long time. Uh, this nine story flat was one of the highest uh, HDVs in the early days. It built a long time ago in People's Park. And as a child, I spent a lot of time here because my aunts lived here and I, I was living with them for a while. So this is your childhood neighborhood? To some so extent, to yes, yeah. Because I, I was also from Clark Key and then between Clark Key and here. And then, uh, so you can see up here, these are the commercial places. Below is the food center. Has always been, even all the way in the early 70s. And then, oh. then there are those kind of uh, fabric shops and all those things from second and third level. They're still there actually. Yeah, they still are there. And then the roof of this complex is actually the ground floor of the HDB. Oh wow. Right? So there's are still a lot of there, place yeah. to roam. Yeah, you can actually yeah. go up there and, and uh, walk around. And walk around. So yeah, I lift up on the ninth story, the top wow. level, and so the corridor was our fun place and yeah, quite a view from there too. Of the, so what what is the top change that you see? Like what is the biggest uh, change? Structurally things have remained quite the same. Yeah. You know, it's just I think the kind of businesses that were here. Definitely, this fruit store has been here for decades. They still have fruit stalls. Yeah, same store. And, yeah, and uh, but other than that, you know, we now have a lot of Chinese, uh, China eateries in a, that we didn't have in the past. Yeah, yeah, and uh, there used to be a fountain over at this end. No right, more. Right you here. can't see any more fountain yeah, there. You don't see a fountain here anymore. Um, yeah. with a clock tower. It yeah, was, that was like the landmark of, of this place. Park. Yeah. In the past, this whole MRT entrance was never... I'll try to look yeah. up the photo and see where they can find it online. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it's, it's like block squarish in shape. And, but the cobblers are still here. Yeah. You know, but they used to hang out more on, near the Yutonsen side of the road. You can see the cobblers. Yeah. Right? All the people are I still working. I would be surprised if some of these cobblers were young men back then <laughs> uh, who have been doing this trade for all this time. There will yeah. be interesting stories. Yep. Well, alright, thank you. <laughs> That's really good. Is that uh, pure watercolor or gouache as uh, well? Watercolor. 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 Nice. Flip, flip, flip. Uh, oh. little India. Very atmospheric. Bar uh, Tommy. Bar Tommy. I sometimes do sketching at home, still life. And this is a Waterloo Street. Yep, yep, I was there. Uh, Patrick. Patrick. Waterloo Street. Waterloo Street, yes. Hair. 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 Teapot. Teapot. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is a Raffles Hotel. Yeah, this Thank you for showing. <laughs> Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Yilong. Hello. Our new friends, they're joining us. Hi. Architectural. Yeah. And what's your name? Uh, Yong. 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 Oh, nice. Well, before you know it, it's pouring rain. So that was a good session and uh, not a big turnout, but um, I guess there was probably about 
15 people spread out in a small space uh, quite socially distanced and uh, well it was fun yeah.